What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream, because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. I started out, as was indicated by Jack, very humble beginnings. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. No one, ladies and gentlemen, could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago working on my dream and I want you to think about whatever your dream is because I was willing to take a chance and most people won't do that most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business but people who are running toward their dreams life has a special kind of meaning and here's what I will share with you that in the process of working on your dreams you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment a lot of failure, a lot of pain, but in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. And ladies and gentlemen, I started working on my dream. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? For many years, I didn't. One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing. They stop working on themselves. They stop stretching. They stop pushing themselves. And the other thing is that most people don't feel worthy. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago. But because I did not have a college education, because I didn't believe in myself, because I allowed other people's opinion of me to control my destiny, I didn't act on my ideas. Looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. And ladies and gentlemen, as a result of stretching out, of acting on my dream, and I don't know what that dream is for you, I can tell you that it's possible. Your dream is possible. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but I've done something that I want to share with you called Choosing Your Future. In fact, I've developed a set of tapes talking about how to begin to create your own reality by choosing your future. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. It's necessary that you be flexible, that you are always thinking of how can I improve this better? This is a customer-driven economy. It's necessary for you to always explore various ways in which you can improve the quality of service that you're providing for the people in your organization. It's necessary if you're going to compete today. It's necessary as you work with the people that you bring into your organization, that they see that you are a good example of a person to work with because you model integrity and determination and ambition and truth and honesty and the way in which you conduct business. The next step is, that is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. 